Hey there, it's Travis Steerwald, and I've got a guest with me today, Wayne Albergati, Project Manager out of the Air Power Branch, and welcome to another edition of Air Power Live. Wayne, thanks for joining me today. Hey, Travis. All right, Good so Wayne, Wayne works in this office out of this branch. He services a, a huge area out here, um, managing projects from builds of uh, paint mixing systems all the way to installs, right? Correct. Okay. So, <clears throat> Wayne has a tool here, right here, that I don't see very often. I've been in the finishing industry a long time, specifically in the powder coating industry and then morphed into liquid and powder. And this is something people talk about all the time, a mega. It's like the unicorn in the industry. Everybody needs one and no one can find it, okay? <laughs> hey, you gotta call well, gotta a guy. You got to call a guy for that. He only comes in the plant like once a year, but <laughs> he'll be here sometime and we'll have him check. And why do we need this? Wayne, we've done videos on ground, on transfer efficiency, on liquid electrostatics, on powder coating, and every one of those processes, ground is critically important. Correct. Why is this an important tool? Well, this is a tool to tell you how good your path to ground is. So when you're in the booth and you're painting, your part is hung in some form or fashion. It could be an overhead conveyor, it could be on a cart. However you do it is however you do it. But if you're painting electrostatically, you need a clean path to ground. How do you find out if you have that? Well, wherever your part is hung from, it's connected to a ground. There's a ground bar on the side here. Here's a ground clamp. This could be on your cart or it's simply transmitted through the metal connection of the booth or the unit that you're using. So once your part is hung using this tool, and there's different iterations of this. In this example, what we're gonna be doing is sending out uh, about 50,000 volts. It's DC, it comes out the red. And on the other end, which is where my ground is, I want to run the tester and see how much resistance to flow that, I, that comes from the output probe to the ground. So as a quick example, this clamp is connected to a clean wire directly to my ground. So we know that ground there is There fantastic. shouldn't be anything in the way. Right. Primo. So I have a clean hook. Now let's pretend that this clean hook is up here on the conveyor and I have a part that's hung on it. So. Going to connect the hook to the ground. If my part were below it. This is a clean hook, never been sprayed on before. Hook my uh, ohm minder to it, connect the other end to ground. It shoots out the voltage and it gets a reading back. 0 0.65, 0 0.46, 0 0.30, 0 0.24, 0.22. Okay. So Any we got all the way down to 0.13. Right. Any number below one is a good path to ground. We're trying to get as I close to zero. In the way. Right. Okay. Now, now we have this hook from a customer that donated it, knowing that we're going to do some testing. Okay. So we want to be able to use this. Now, if you can see this hook, it looks like when you look down here in the bottoms of the hook, where obviously you're going to be hanging it on both sides, it looks like you can see some metal there. Okay. So they're thinking we can just keep hanging it. We can we can keep using it and trying to connect our parts right. and just spray them. And, and they are actually, uh, I believe they are powder coating. Okay. So they're, they strongly rely on Correct. ground. You really need ground. So in this case, what I'm going to do again, we're mocking the fact that this is hanging on the device that's in the booth where you're painting. So one end of this has the part on it. The other end of this would be connected to the hook. Now, I'm just putting this clamp on and I'm sticking it on top of the overspray just like it would be hanging on the hook. On the other end here, I'm going to connect my tester close to the metal, push on it like a part hanging, and check the other end of ground. And let's see what we get. 99.9. Okay. So, in other words, the, what's happening is the voltage that I'm sending out of this end of the probe I'm not seeing any of it on the other end of this, which means I don't have a clean path to ground at all. 
Now, I could probably reach around, dig, scratch. I might be able to find a little bit of place that would get through there. But in the end, the feedback that I get from the mega omer or the mega omer is this: if it's greater than one, I don't have a good path to. But ground. you're literally using a needle point on the top of these, and you can't find a good ground there. Correct. So if you're just setting a big part with a large, you know, connection like a hole in steel or something, and you're racking it over the top of that, the chances that it's going to have a really good connection are pretty really slim. Yeah, yeah. Now it's it's all. It's all dependent on what you're painting. You've got guys who do big, heavy parts that hang on the hooks. They'll crush through the paint, connect the ground. Everything's fine. If you have light, thin stuff like this, it's much harder. Not going to be able to get good ground. Now, it's also important to note that this whole rod doesn't have to be clean like this. It's only got to be clean on this end and on this end. Right. Whatever happens here in the middle doesn't matter. The current will travel right through there underneath the paint all day long. So even even taking a grinder in here to these areas and yes. trying to clean them off so that there is solid contact from part to, to metal. Yep. hook. But then you've got to think, okay, I got to make sure that that's clean and I've got to make sure it's connection to ground all the way through and all the way back to potentially the ground rod. We had a good class yesterday. We talked about ground rods and the, mm -hmm. the trolleys and the hooks and everything and how that path has got to be clean all the way back. This is, this is the tool that Correct. doesn't lie. Right. It takes exactly. all those, well, I'm sure it's okay, to this is absolutely not right. cool. You um, have ground. We run into this all the time where customers are hot flocking. And you ask them, why are you spraying your parts with the powder or with the parts warm or hot? why are you spraying your powder coating that way well because it sticks better well the reason it sticks better most of the time is because there is no ground or the ground is really bad right so <clears throat> all right that explains it wayne i appreciate your Good help up, today um, and again the elusive unicorn megger <laughs> thank you for joining us for this edition of air power live feel free to call us 800-334-1001 you can visit our website at airpower-usa.com or social media, all the channels. We look forward to talking to you. Come visit us and we'll talk about ground, we'll talk about hooks, we'll talk about electrostatic finishing, anything you need. Thanks and have a great day.